Hey, welcome to our devotional time. We're in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 3, verses 1 to 3 now. And here is what that says. Now in the 15th year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, Pontius Pilate being governor of Judea, Herod being tetrarch of Galilee, his brother Philip tetrarch of Ituria, and the region of Trachonitis, and Licinius tetrarch of Abilene, while Annas and Caiaphas were high priests, the word of God came to John, the son of Zacharias, in the wilderness, and he went into all the region around the Jordan, preaching a baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. Several bits here. Of course, remission is an old-fashioned word. We don't use it anymore, but it, it means here forgiveness. Uh, the part here by Tiberius, Pilate, and so on, all these different historical figures. Some people think this is a weakness of Christianity, but we've already mentioned this is a good thing. God has rooted Christianity, unlike, unlike any other real, uh, religious faith. Christianity is, is very much rooted in history, and some people would think, well, this would be a giant uh, liability, but actually this is good because now you can go in and you can check it. You can check and see whether history sustains this. But anyway, there's a certain time, and you can check the time of, of Tiberius, Pilate, Philip, and so on, and when these people were high priests, uh, Annas and Caiaphas, and you can find out exactly when this time was. And John, the son of Zacharias, the little baby John, he now is going to be John the Baptist. And he's pre goes, the word of God comes to him. So there's a message. God sends it to, to John. John's going to be a prophet. And at a certain time, a certain point in time, God sends, God sends his uh, prophetic message to John. And he proceeds throughout the area to go and preach it. And so that's what you have here is a faithful person serving God and he has a certain thing for them to do. He's preaching a baptism of repentance. So this, is, uh, this means to be completely immersed underneath the water for, the, for your indica indicating the repentance for your sins. Again, repentance is not a common uh, thought for us today. We think repentance is just sorrow for sins. But biblical repentance means a complete turning of the mind, a complete turning of the heart. You're going uh, exactly north, and you turn around, you go exactly south if you're walking. Repentance is a 180-degree turn from one kind of action to another kind of action. That's what John is calling for, and that's going to become very important as we consider his message uh, the next few mornings. My favorite Bible character, of course, outside of Jesus, but my favorite Bible character is John, the son of Zacharias, John the Baptist. And here he's going to tell people about Jesus. God has called him to come and go before Jesus and open the way and prepare people for Jesus to come. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you that you send your messengers. John, the son of Zacharias, is one of your messengers, and he's going to tell people that Jesus is the, the time of Jesus coming is imminent to them here at the first coming. Lord, repentance and forgiveness are very important. Help us to turn from any ways that are opposed to you and go in your direction, completely turn, doesn't just mean we'll feel sorrow, but Lord, it means that we will accept your power, your grace to be changed people. Turn us toward your face, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, God be with you today, throughout your day, and live out the gift of repentance that God gives to those who simply receive it.